Hey everyone, my name is Jeff and on this channel I do tech review tutorials and more and today I want to show you how you can get your pictures and videos back out of Facebook. Um, unfortunately Facebook doesn't make it very easy um, but there is a way to do it and I'm going to show you both how to do this on a mobile device as well as a desktop computer and there's timestamps down in the video description if you want to just jump over to the desktop method. First I'm going to show you here how to do this on a mobile device. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the three lines in the Facebook app in the upper right corner. That's going to open up uh, your menu in Facebook and then from here you want to click the settings or the gear icon in that upper right corner. That takes you into settings and privacy. And then from this point what you can do is uh, you'll see all the different settings, account, preferences. I'm going to scroll down audience and visibility, permissions, uh, you want to get to this your information section and under here you'll see uh, in the middle download your information. I'm going to click on that and from here uh, this is where you can download your information. Now by default uh, on this list of items Facebook automatically checks everything so at this point I'd be downloading copies of all of my collections, messages, pages, posts, I don't want all that. I just want the pictures and videos from my posts. So I'm going to hit the deselect all to uncheck all of these different areas. And I'm just going to check mark where it says posts. I'm just going to check mark that post area. Now uh, from this point you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom of this list and there's quite a few things to scroll past. Once you get past this, um, I recommend that you, under the date range, choose a date uh, area uh, range instead of just all of my data. You can do all of my data, but if you've got like 10 plus years of being on Facebook and lots of pictures, lots of videos, it's going to take an extremely long time to create a downloadable file for you. I would recommend you do a date range instead. Um, you might want to do an increment of like three months, six months, or like a year at a time. Um, it all depends on the frequency of how often you post to Facebook. For tutorial purposes, I'm just going to go back uh, for about the last month. So we'll go to uh, January 15th. And so you can see my date range here is to download all the posts from the last month. Now from this point I can scroll down to the very bottom and it's going to say create file. So I'm going to go ahead and create file and then it takes me uh, to the next section where it originally said request copy. That's where I filled out all this information where I check marked my posts. Now it automatically takes me over to available copies which is the tab just to the right of that request copy and you'll see here uh, that I selected this January 15th through February 15th and it has a status right now of pending and it says a copy of your information is being created. So when it's done compiling all this information this pending will turn into a download button and we'll be able to download these files. We'll come back when this is done. So from this point, I now have a download button, which is a file of all the compressed uh, images or videos that Facebook put together for me. I can see that it's file one of one, four meg. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that download button to download those files. So from this point, it's gonna prompt me for my password. I've entered my password and then it has downloaded that file. It says file downloaded and I can tap on open at the top of the screen. With WinZip successfully installed, what you can do is go back to your downloads. Um, if you can't get back to your downloads, the quickest way that I would recommend is that you go into the files on your Android phone. And essentially what you can do is go to the search bar that's at the bottom of your phone and then you'll see that it pops up at the top of your phone and type in uh, files. You'll see this files icon that's popped up in the uh, upper left. I'm going to tap on that. And now from here I can see all of my recent downloads including this zip file 
uh, from Facebook. From this point, I can tap right on the name, Facebook-Jeff, and it says here, Extract Facebook uh, Zip, and I'm going to say Extract. And then from this point, I can see all the different photos that I have downloaded. Um, I can just click on Done. From this point, I can see all of the different uh, images and video clips that were downloaded as part of that zip file. Now, if you want to transfer all of those real easily, um, you can just share that zip file uh, to wherever you want, say your Google Drive or Dropbox. If you want them on your phone, essentially what you can do then is uh, transfer them to whatever folder makes the most sense or that you're going to want. Um, if you long press on an image, it'll select it. If you want to select multiple images or videos, you can just keep tapping on those on your screen and you'll see it puts a check mark by them. And then at the top, you have uh, a trash can, you have the like Pac-Man shaped dots, and then you have your three dots. Uh, if you click on the three dotted Pac-Man, that gives you share options and you can send it as a text message, which is going to be huge. Um, but as you scroll down, you're going to see more options here, uh, such as your Google Drive, um, Dropbox, different ways where you can share those images or videos uh, or back them up, uh, I would recommend using either Google Drive or Dropbox if you don't want to keep them locally on your phone or device. So to get pictures and videos that you've posted back out of Facebook on a desktop computer, the first thing you're going to want to do, log into Facebook, get to your uh, home screen, or in this case, uh, I'm yeah I'm on my home screen uh, I'm going to go to the uh, upper right corner of Facebook and there's this little down arrow you're gonna to want to click on that and that's your account information and then from here you're gonna to want to go down to the settings and privacy so we're gonna click on that and then from there I'm going to click on the settings gear icon right here and that's going to take me into my settings and you want to kind of view over on the left side of the screen there's general security and login and what you want to click on is this your Facebook information so if we click on that this brings up your Facebook information and you are going to notice uh, about the third one down it's going to say download your information download a copy of your information to keep or to transfer to another service so we're gonna click on view and then under downloads uh, there's a couple of things that we're gonna do first I'm gonna scroll down a little bit uh, and it says here select information to download and as I scroll down you are gonna see that everything here is selected we don't want to download everything on Facebook at this point we just want to download our pictures and videos so I'm gonna deselect all and now that I've deselected all, uh, your pictures and videos that you've posted are going to be under your posts. So we're going to check mark this posts right here. Then I'm going to scroll back up to the top. And as far as file options, you have to choose what options you want. Now format by default, it's, it sends it as HTML. We're going to leave that check marked. Um, media quality, you get high, medium, or low. I would recommend you go for high, but if maybe you don't have a lot of storage space or something you could choose medium or low but I like to go the highest res that I can uh, so we're gonna do the media quality as high and then you're gonna select a date range so as far as dates uh, that you need to choose you can choose last week last month um, you can do it all the way down to all time now if you're somebody like myself that's been on Facebook for 10 plus years and you do a fair amount of posting of pictures and videos if you choose like all time it's going to take forever to compile all these files and then it's going to take you forever to download all this stuff so i would recommend you do smaller increments of time um, again if you've been on facebook for a long time maybe choosing like this last six months or you can go to custom and then under custom do a start date and an end date and maybe do like six month windows if you post a lot of information then maybe you want to do like a three month window or even a month 
window increment. Um, just for showing you how to do this uh, purposes here, I'm just gonna choose a month's dates worth of time. So I'm gonna choose January 15th and let's go to February 15th. So that's a month's worth of posts and downloads. So once I've selected all of this information, I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom of the screen And here you're gonna see at the bottom, it'll say start your download. Your download may contain private information. You could keep it, you should keep it secure, take precautions when storing it, sending it or uploading it to another service. And then you can click this request a download button. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then I got a little message saying that a copy is being created. Now again, depending on how many posts you make and how much stuff this is trying to download, this is going to take some time. Um, so you may want to do this uh, when it's later at night or not when you've got a lot of stuff uh, going on. Uh, it, so hopefully you don't need this information right away. Now if you're just doing like one date's worth of posts or something, that should go fairly quick. But you will get a message notification up by the top notification bell from Facebook when it is done creating your download file. Now while we are waiting for that file to be created, if I scroll back up to the top of this page, this is where we started, you'll notice under the downloads it shows a request a download and then it shows available files. And at any time, even while it's creating this download, you can click on available files and uh, it just finished creating this packet of downloads right here. Now it's giving me the option to download them. Now a minute ago it was just saying pending. So you can actually see the status of how it is uh, generating that downloadable file. It even shows you here that it's only four megs of posts, so that's not very large. Uh, and then from this point, I have the option where I can download. So I can click download. It's going to prompt me for my password for Facebook, so I'm gonna enter that. And then after that, it says download file. This will save a copy of your information to your device. I'm gonna click confirm. And then I am using Google Chrome as my browser and I can see the file packet that it downloaded pop up at the bottom of my screen. I can click this little up arrow and I can just go to show in folder and then I can see on my computer this zipped file that was downloaded from Facebook. Now from this point what I can do is this is a compressed file which just makes it easier to download. I can right click on this and then from here I've got an option in Windows to extract all and it's going to let me choose a destination where I want to extract these files. So maybe you're trying to put these on an external hard drive, uh, maybe you want to put these in a different folder besides your download folder on your computer. You can click this browse button and it's going to open up your file directory on your computer and then you can download these files to wherever you want. Once you've chosen the location, you can then click the extract button. And it should just open the file window up right uh, on wherever you saved it to your computer, to your external hard drive. And you'll see an index file and you'll see a folder called posts. We can click on that posts folder. And then inside this posts folder, you'll see album, you'll see media. If we click on media, these are any folders of any albums you've created on Facebook. If you've done any mobile uploads, you're also gonna see a folder containing that. At any time, I can click on one of these folders and it's gonna show me thumbnails of the images or videos that were contained in that folder. And I know that everything has the gobbledygook of all the numbers and everything. That unfortunately is just the way Facebook exports those images or videos, but you do actually have have copies of those pictures and videos um, with having the ability here to save them, copy them wherever you would like.
The other thing that's kind of cool in this posts folder is you get these HTML files and this one is your photos and this one is your posts. So if you want to see any of the information uh, that you added along with your posts, those are contained if you double click on one of these documents. So you'll notice in this file, not only do I have the images that were saved, but I also have any of the text that was on those posts as well. So if you found this video helpful, take a second, smash that like button. Um, leave me a comment down below if you were able to successfully uh, download your uh, photos and videos. I've done all sorts of other tutorial videos on this channel as well as tech reviews. So I do appreciate you hitting that subscribe button and that little notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, did you happen to spot Tinker? Tinker is our little hidden robot that pops up in all the videos on this channel and if you saw this weird little robot pop up somewhere during this video take note of the timestamp or the amount of time in this video that he popped up and be the first person to let me know when you spotted him popping up and you might be like Jason Craig or David Boyd the latest viewers on uh, our Tinker Forward channel to find Tinker in one of our recent videos so my name is Jeff as always I appreciate you watching be sure to make Make every day awesome and I will see you in the next video.